Hi guys, how's it? Kia ora, Tamakimi Fano. Good day to everyone else. I am here at Anton's in Roanoke, Texas. Uh, best South African food in DFW. Any of you guys who ever find yourself in North Texas and you have a curiosity for South African food, come on in. Uh, everything's made fresh in the kitchen every day here. And um, I will put a link to the website. If you want to order something online, the Boltong is delicious. The Dry Wars is great. You can get everything you need. Flake bars, all of it. Bony bars, everything. Crunchy, all that stuff. Orders done by noon every day will get shipped out that day. But as you can see, I'm here with two fine Canadian Sorry. gentlemen. We got uh, Dewey and Liam Hi. from Hi. the Dallas Jackals, the hooker, and the tight head or loose head? Loose head prop. Loose head prop here. And uh, I just had some yeah, this side fine yeah, food. Oh, side. loving the flow in the back there. Yeah, gotta have it, gotta have it. So obviously one week to go in the season, sure. guys. Yeah. Different issues. Liam, you've been here all season. Dewey, visa issues, much like our original yeah. coach, couldn't yeah. even get into the country. <laughs> yeah. And you've had a chance to come down. They've given you unfortunate injury to Augusto. They've been giving you plenty yeah. of time to get out there. Yeah. Last yeah. weekend we saw it. A little bit of adjustment needed to be made yeah. on the lineouts. You made them very quickly early on in the game. Mm -hmm. And uh, Liam has been playing all season. Yeah, um, stuck in. <laughs> how would you say, obviously, not talking about the record or anything yeah, like that, how has been your experience being Canadian guys playing in the U.S.? I mean, it's super nice to be down here because it's like uh, the development for us. I mean, a minutes and game time is like what you look for as like a player. And, to have the opportunity to play uh, week in, week out against like the highest competition you can, especially all the U.S. internationals out there and the, the other foreigners who join the league, like just helps us all grow. And like honestly, it's such a good just opportunity to fucking square up and smash the these guys you watch. What about up. the the new guy here? Yeah, I think like you said, like obviously it took me so long to get here, but. Just going out there and like looking at who I'm playing against is awesome. It's just it's a challenge for me to get better. And I, I know, like you said, like the record hasn't been the greatest, but I know like our team, we're in the right mindset to improve. And I think next year it'll be a bit different yeah. for sure. Once you have a bit more resources, you know, like you, you mentioned not having a coach, like once you have a, a full team behind us, I think we'll be able to put something else out there for a full, full 80 for, for all the fans and whatnot. So, I guess the biggest thing, um, like I said, we've already talked about the record not really being, not having a coach does make a difference. Yeah. Um, let's talk about like maybe off the field. Who who are you guys rooming with? <laughs> we actually are rooming yeah, right here, right here. <laughs> it's, it's funny because uh, before, <laughs> obviously before I had the visa delays, I was supposed to be with Liam, but oh, right we on, happened right to have on. like three different guys that yeah, either yeah, got I injured have, or... Yeah, who all of you, Liam? Who have you I roommate with, with uh, Carm, Consolino, Nate Lyon, and Augusto. They were all my roommates. Augusto. Augusto yeah. was the last The one. Chilean yeah. and the Canadian yeah. in yeah. one room. Yeah, that's like that's the right. exact extreme uh, of yeah, everything. We work well. Did, did you eat any of his cooking? No, nah, nah, I do my own food. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to cook? Oh man, steak or tacos mostly. Little well, street tacos. How, how do you do your steaks? Hey? How do you uh, how do you prepare oh, your steak? Oh, the Montreal steak spice and then the medium rare. The, they give a good sear. What about you? How do you like your steaks, man? I am also just a salt and pepper kind of guy. I have some South African steak chops, slices that uh, my parents left me. When they went back to South Africa, I'll use some of that. But well, you can uh, pick it up here if you need some here, here man. Right here at Anton's, you know? So, uh, I guess the next question is, not to say what the postseason plans are, but what happens after the season? Do you just go back? Are you going back to Canada? Or go back. Go um, sorry. We're both used. I'm going back to uh, Victoria, and then uh, hopefully find out soon enough to make the international team and there's two test matches in uh, end of july july, july. End, of the end of this month who do you have to play against to qualify no one we're, uh, to qual we're out of the world cup but these are just test matches okay okay yeah, for ranking we play belgium and spain yeah. oh spain yeah. who recently yeah. just got axed they're not gonna yeah. go for having a 
on the Asafa I, boy on yeah, their yeah, roster. Really? Some administration, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, so, um, yeah. Dewey is actually from South Africa originally, but does yeah. got a U twenty, couple of U twenty caps, couple of U twenty caps, and uh, working on that national uh, men's cap. So, yeah. hopefully, the next few years here. It's it's always cool. You're actually the first internationally capped player I've ever interviewed. Oh no! Man. So, and it's cool that you're yeah, Canadian because we're both. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. So it's like, it's good. But still, it's the fact that you, you get to play for your yeah, nation, right. I mean, and then a lot even with your country, with Dewey. Sure. I mean, like, look, I know you're born in. But you're Canadian, still yeah, nonetheless, no. and it's like, you look at, we always would always look at, like, all the Pacific Islanders that play for yeah. all the other, like, Japan is a bunch of Tongan guys, you've got several yeah. Tongans and whatnot on England, but nobody mentions the amount of South Africans that are playing other countries yeah, right yeah. now. Like, you look at the USA yeah, roster, there's like yeah. five or six on there, yeah. you look at France, Italy, Japan has them yeah. now, you know, nobody wants to talk about that, but it's like still in the same respects. It's like Canada, though, is such a welcoming country to everyone. Exactly. And, yeah. and it doesn't matter whether where you're from, it's it, it becomes home. And then if you're born there, yeah, you find welcome. Your, yeah, you yeah. find your way, you find your way, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hopefully we don't have too hot of weather for Saturday yeah, night. I, yeah. I don't. I don't know if you guys are, have acclimatized to this yet. Uh, but I'm, I'm always sweating. Yeah, I know. Before the warm ups done, I'm you're I'm drenched, drenched already. Drenched, yeah. um, <laughs> so, what kind of music do each of you have to listen to before every oh, game? I don't. I don't even need music. I just get in and start start trying to visualize everything. And you don't have to put your headphones on. And just get... Run through your first hit. Run yeah. through the first scrum. And keep doing that in your yeah, head, and like. Good. Imagine fucking just killing it. You? Um, so I, like if the team is playing music, I do kind of like when they have some, some, some nice classic well. rock going, something like yeah. that. Get, yeah, yeah, it's it's like in the background yeah, here, yeah, something yeah. like that, get the voice going. But like, like William said... Um, is there anybody uh, who's the DJ, the Su certified DJ Su on the team? Su Su is the DJ, yeah. Su should be the DJ. Campbell Johnstone is the DJ. Johnstone, what is he always putting on? Classic rock. Classic oh, rock. So he's good for it. He's good oh, for like it. The rap and shit. Well, it's like, it's unfortunate, like, me from the hockey world, it would always be like the Swedish kid, yeah. and he would always have like this just crazy European like yeah, house so music. EDM kind of stuff. So I would just put my headphones on and just kind of go into my my yeah. hole yeah. there. Um, I've done a couple of interviews so far with front row players, and I guess this is something I always ask: is that like it takes a special kind of crazy to stick your head in a yeah. hole? Dark yeah. places, man. You gotta and, live there. And like, do you ever? Do you ever get scared going into them? A scrum? No. Uh, I don't scrum, know. Do you process do the same and like fucking back yourself and get in there? I think it's like the the, the, the competitive like part of it where you try to beat that opposite man. Yeah. Right? I think that's a big part of it. Do, does your adrenaline get flowing yeah, before yeah, the match? You're waiting for that first contact. Well, it just, yeah. you just Especially go, yeah, if you get if you get a big scrum and you get that penalty. That penalty. That's yeah, like yeah. one of the biggest moments for us. Almost. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's just yeah, massive. For it's us, just like because for me that would be the thing that like would probably scare me the most walking yeah. out onto the field and looking at my opposite and realizing okay I'm gonna have to run into that uh, guy. Let's go chop him down. Yeah. Fucking hit him low. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Canadians, man. Crazy Canadians. Um, so I guess the last question I was gonna ask was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> After you're done playing rugby, do you have any plans? Like, what what did you like? What do you want to do after rugby? I think uh, for me personally, like, uh, I always wanted to go into some engineering. So I've kind of been putting it apart, uh, aside. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Just because following my dream, right? Rugby right now. So I think I'll obviously try that, but I think still like always stay in the rugby community, like a bit of coaching if I can, yeah, yeah. help out, like. Always be part of it. Maybe some coaching one day. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Be fun. I'm in. Uh, right now, I own like part of two companies back home, and I'd like to do that. So I'm kind of got like an entrepreneurial. What kind of businesses of are they, man? Mainly like service and like cleaning. Oh, so right just home. like yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Part of the reason I really got it going is just to like supply work for my teammates back home with pride and stuff Dude, too. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Maybe trying to bring something like that down to Dallas as well. We do like power washing and like car detailing and stuff. But those are two nothing nothing different wrong. Ones. Nothing yeah, wrong. It's like, Dude, no no that's good entrepreneurial. Easy service then, man. Yeah yeah. Yeah so we probably keep into doing that and then do real estate and then hopefully retire young. All right, guys. Awesome. Well, I won't keep you too long. No, no, we no, had a great lunch, awesome. and uh, thank, thank you, you for the kind little yeah. words here, no guys. Yeah. No, thanks for having Cheers, us. guys. Cheers.